Hey there everyone, welcome to Inside Android. This tutorial is a step-by-step -step guide to build an Android audio app. That is, we will create a music player in this tutorial. And we will use the best and the simplest method available with us. Since this will be a long tutorial, so I have split it into various parts. In this tutorial, we will learn certain following things. I have prepared a list. Let me show you that list. So, our first thing will be to understand the project then we will learn about requirements of our app in third thing in third part we will discuss setting up of a project and in fourth we will create a service and in fifth we will create music player so this is the simple five step that we will do in this video so first thing is understanding the project since we are going to create a music player this music player will be capable of playing music in background so for that we will create a service okay that service will play the music in background also we will use broadcast receiver to interact with that service also we will read all the audio file that are available in the android device so our music player will be capable of playing music from device and it will be capable of playing that uh, that audio in background now what are the requirement so let me tell you that for this for this you will need android studio and uh, android studio in your system and you can use windows or mac that is okay with that is okay with you whichever is fine uh, now coming to our project what we need for the app is we need a basic learning of android and broadcast receiver it means that uh, you need to have a basic knowledge of what a service is and what a broadcast receiver is also you should be uh, acknowledged about the basic working of android apps third thing we will have to set up the project then we'll create the service and then we will create music player okay so now uh, let me just continue to create the project first without any without any further delay okay so i have a music uh, android studio here i will create an android studio project i will create a new android studio project just select a scrolling activity next the name will be music player okay everything else is done we will use java click finish okay so my project has been built and i have the activity here that is scrolling activity dot java and i have the file that is content scrolling.xml so i will close both of them and first of all i will move to android manifest so first of all i will move to android manifest and here i will add permission so first of all i will add permission of internet this permission media content control and then read phone state okay so this is showing an error but it's totally fine just go to this and suppress ignore okay we will use it no matter what <laughs> now next thing we will create a service that will play our music okay so close it again now go to java in and then go to music player now right click here new uh, and then go to service and service okay and its name will be media player service and then click finish okay so we have a media player service here that extends service now i will like to implement various other things that i will use so first of all i will use sorry i will use media player dot on completion listener next thing i will use again sorry media player dot on prepared listener then i will use media player dot on error listener and then at last media player dot on sick complete listener 
and then again and then one more media player dot uh, on info listener and it and now media player dot on buffering and at last audio manager dot on audio focus changes now Oof. see this many but trust me this will facilitate us in every way this will make our process very simple okay then just go to here and implement method but before that just wait for a second and now i want to i want you to uh, first of all create a binder and let me tell you how we can create a binder to create a binder in here type class local binder binder and what if I make it a public all right and then I will type media player service media player service get service and I will return media player service dot this okay and I will use this local binder just above on bind where I will write private final I binder I binder equals new local binder so instead of the provided binder we will use our own binder and I will return I binder all right and then we have to implement all the functions that just go to here click on this bulb and it will ask for implementing everything and we are done all right so in this way we have created our media player service now uh, this is it what we do how we can create a service this was the process and this thing we have set up the project and then also we have created the service now we will move on to create a music player okay all right now in this thing we have to do something uh, about the uh, media player for media player we have to do some things so type private media player media player oops again it will be private string media file all right and I will create a method to initialize the media player so go below on bind and type here private void in it media player and this will initialize our media player so we will try here media player okay I'm going to name it media player only media player equals new media player and then we will set up our player so if media player set a listener like set on completion listener so I will pass this then next thing if on set on error listener this last and then set on prepared listener this 
then media player dot set on buffering update listener this and again set on sick completion listener this then info listener this and also if also to reset the media player reset media player so that will be by media player dot reset okay and then to set the audio stream type media player dot set audio stream type so it is deprecated but still we will use it and we can use it by audio manager dot stream music okay then I will advise you to use try catch for our next operation try catch doesn't crash our app instead it instead whatever is the reason of the crash is determined using this line a dot print distract trace okay and in this type here media player dot set data source and here I will pass media file okay and if there is any or good if there is any error then first print distract trace and then I will call a function that is stop self that is it will stop the process and below try and catch just call media player dot prepare sync all right so this will prepare our media player in a async fashion now this thing are done but still we have to prepare some method for example here we have created a media player here we have initialized it initialized it and now other thing is to create something that will control play pause and other functionalities in our app I will create a, a private variable that will be resume position all right and I and below in it I will create a method that is private void play media okay and here I will write if media player is not playing if media player is not playing then we have to start the media player okay so this is what play media do and similarly we can create another function that will stop media that will stop our media so if media player equal to equal to null then return do nothing if media player the is playing if media play is me playing then we have to stop it so to stop it we will use stop so this is this was for play the media this was for to stop the media and another thing which you have to do is to pause the uh, to pause the media So the method is pause media. So if media player is playing, then media player dot pause and also we set resume position to media player dot get current position this will save the place where our media player was paused okay and then we will create a function to 
resume the media private void resume media okay so if media player is not playing then first we have to seek it to resume position and then we have to start it all right so we have created function to play the media to stop the media to pause the media and to resume the media now we have to work on the overridden override function so first of all i will work on on completion okay we have already completed the uh, implementation process so we will use on completion so on completion we will stop media and then stop self okay and then when media source is completed so we have to stop the media okay and to stop the service we use stop self okay now we have to work on what if an error occurs so there are certain reasons which we will get in what so we will use switch and we will use switch statement for it all right so we are done here and we have created on error function and then we will go to on prepared so what if our media player is prepared so we will just play our media okay so this is the thing and we are completed for now in our service and there are other methods too but since the focus of this tutorial is to create a good and simple music player app so this is fine for now so this is these are the certain things that we have done in our this video and in next video we will be working on audio focus and more next thing we will be talking about uh, creating a media player this video has been a very long video and i don't want to just throw everything on you and i want to proceed step by step that is why i have left some i have left uh, other parts of the media player service for the next video and in next video we will complete media player service and also we will continue with our creating a music player so thank you so much for watching this video if any error or any doubt do let me know this code will be uploaded after the series is done so if you want to practice it you can uh, just uh, watch the video carefully and try to do it on your own and this is a very simple process it just look bulky but it is not so do practice it and do look at some of the concept that i have revised and do a thorough reading of official documentation of music player services and media player and broadcast receiver on android.com so thank you so much for watching the video see you see you in next video thank you so much